Oh, I went to hug this and it said hug toilet water. And I was like, why is this saying hug toilet water? And I forgot this unicorn is named toilet water. Because last time I played this, I let my daughter name these stuffed animals. And we have uni, rainbow pony, and toilet water. Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Ghost Town Challenge Light. A series in The Sims 4 about a challenge I created called the Ghost Town Challenge. Now this particular version is base game only, no mods, and limited cheats. Cheats are only to be able to follow the rules in order to set my money the way it needs to be set. And just forgive me as I struggle through this because right now my voice is a little bit different than it normally is. Probably don't notice unless you watch a lot of my videos. but. I am sort of sick right now. So we're just following Ibrahim and Ibrahim is trying to get all of his toddler skills to level five. Now the best way to get thinking up is to watch an adult. The only thing about that is it's a little bit annoying because you have to pause the game in order to queue it up. Oh no, we got to call the nanny back. Don't go to bed yet. Is she gone? Okay, once she leaves, I can call her back. Oh, and it is Lisbeth's birthday. Yeah, the toddlers will be aging up soon, and when they age up to kids, it will be a lot easier for the rest of the adults to take care of Ibrahim. Alright, I do not see the nanny. Is she coming or not? Oh, we reached thinking level 5. Okay, well, we're going to have to unfortunately wake up Susan and ask her to feed us. All right, then we should probably get a bedtime story and go to sleep. I do not see that nanny. I'm going to have to call her again. Great. It thinks I've already called her, so we can't do that. I guess we're stuck with a tired Suzanne. Go to sleep, Suzanne. Okay, good. She's going to sleep. Oh, there's the nanny. She finally did show up. Oh, Crystal aged up, so the kids are starting to age up. Let's see, what should we pick? Okay, if we pick Plectomaniac, they will bring stuff home from school that we can sell. And that's pretty much the only way we'll be able to get any money, so I'm going to make them all collect those. And I guess you can have the social aspiration. Okay, let's get the nanny to read us a book, because I think that will help his imagination go pretty quickly. And being playful helps with imagination, so we're going to follow his mood. Now that we're level two, we can actually look at the books ourselves. Okay, Dana has become a writer's assistant at Walrus Books. Does that mean Dana is no longer a nanny? Okay, yes, we got a different nanny. Maybe we can get the nanny to put us in the high chair. No, don't go to sleep. Go sit in the high chair. This is sometimes tricky, but if you can play it right you can actually nap in the high chair and you have to queue up a bunch of naps. The only problem with the high chair is that you can get stuck in it if there isn't an adult around to take you out. And also when you wake up from one nap and before you go into the next nap, you might have that stuck inside animation. And if you do that, then a lot of times the adults will take you out of the high chair and you can no longer nap in it. So another way that you can get energy up at least a little bit quicker is to use a tent. And tents will give you two up arrows. The bed only gives you one. And the high chair will give you three. So the high chair is the best. But if you don't have a tent because you don't have outdoor retreat or snowy escape or dream home decorator, then you can get a tent in base game. By looking on the gallery for Sim Sessions, if you look for that hashtag, you will find a room that has all of the Sim Sessions items in it, and you can get a tent that way. Okay, Nicole is aged up. She's also going to be a klepto and a social butterfly. And Major is aged up, and we'll make him a klepto and a social butterfly as well. And the easiest way to get communication up is to talk to a stuffed animal. So we've got to level four already of communication. I think we'll try and max out communication today. And then maybe we'll work on imagination. 
and Lisbeth aged up. Again, she's going to be a kleptomaniac and a social butterfly. Oh, and Tracy is aged up. So we just have Guy left as a toddler besides us. And now Guy is a child. So we have no more toddlers besides Ibrahim. Okay, it's Tuesday. We've maxed our communication skill. We need to get our imagination skill up. That one's going pretty slow. Movement is also level two and going pretty slow. I think maybe the best way to get imagination up without that play tent is to just play with a toy because it seems like when I ask an adult to read a book, they don't do it or they do it for only a very short time. And at least with playing with the toy, he'll do it for a long time. It doesn't help his attention need though. So let's try and play for a little bit. That'll help my movement skill. And maybe we'll get all the skills to level three except for Potty because Potty only needs to be level three and we only have 30% more to go. We'll definitely get that just by using it as we need it. And we got level three of the movement skill. The kids are going to class. That means we'll just have mom to ourself. Oh yes, we must pay bills. I forgot. Okay, we got level four of the imagination skill. And it seems that showing a toy to an adult does not give us any attention. Why not? Fine, we'll just ask to play again. And we got level four of the movement skill. So we just need one more level of movement, one more level of imagination, and we're almost there on potty. Now, since we're energized, we'll run around and work on our movement skill, despite the fact that we really should do imagination first, because energized is good for movement and playful is good for imagination. Now, in a rare turn of events, everyone is in bed so that I can fast forward time. I'm going to actually go to sleep in one of the beds. And Ibrahim is probably going to max out his skills tomorrow. Okay, well, we have Imagination level 5 and Movement level 5 now. So I'm going to go ahead and bake a cake in order to age up Ibrahim. And that's one of the things that the adult is allowed to do. Otherwise, we can't control the adult or any of the other children. Now, I know I probably said in the rules that you have to wait until it's their birthday to age them up. But Ibrahim is done with all of his skills and all of the kids can take care of themselves. They're not toddlers. They're not infants. They're not babies. So it's no extra challenge to wait until Saturday, which is Ibrahim's birthday. So I'm going to just go ahead and age him up now and we'll get started on his childhood skills. So happy birthday, Ibrahim. Okay, and Ibrahim is going to be active and complete the social butterfly aspiration. And there's our little man. Okay, first things first, we've got to get our homework done because we actually have class tomorrow and we need to get an A. So we have a C right now. Okay, and for the next step of our social butterfly, we're going to make best friends with our original nanny. And then we just need level five social skill. And that was quick. Social level five. Okay, apparently we're not friends with any of our current housemates. So we'll have to get to know some of them. Okay, we have one friend. Okay, so Crystal is now our friend. We have two friends. I think what we might do is actually age Crystal up before she goes to school and then get another baby. Oh, and unfortunately, everyone ate the cake. All right. Happy birthday, Crystal. You get to leave the house now that you're a teenager. And she's a snob. Well, maybe we'll make her a painter extraordinaire. Okay, now what we'll do is have a science baby by herself. Oh, maybe I'll let her use the bathroom first. <laughs> All right, Suzanne is going to have a science baby, and the rest of the kids will be going to school soon. And we have a girl, Jana Croft. Okay, we mastered the social skill, but that's really the easiest part of the aspiration. Okay, we're friends with Eric Lewis, and we're friends with two adults because the nanny is over here. Okay, so we completed our aspiration. We need to get an A in school. That's going to take a little while. And I think every day we're going to have one of the kids age up 
and get another baby. Oh, I went to hug this and it said hug toilet water. And I was like, why is this saying hug toilet water? And I forgot this unicorn is named toilet water. Because last time I played this, I let my daughter name these stuffed animals. And we have uni, rainbow pony, and toilet water. Oh, it's Jaina's birthday. So we'll age up the baby and we'll have an infant. And then we'll get another science baby. Happy birthday to Nicole. And she's going to be an art lover and have the chief of mischief aspiration. Interesting choice of outfit, Nicole. Okay, time for you to leave. And we say happy birthday to Jana, who is wiggly and crawling around. Because I don't have growing together in this game. So therefore, the infants are born knowing how to do everything. And we have little baby Harrison over here. So Suzanne has to take care of these two while the kids are at school. And if she starts having trouble, I'll hire a nanny. But basically, Ibrahim can't do anything until he gets to be a teenager. So you're on your own, Suzanne. Okay, for some reason, now we have two nannies. And I did not call another nanny. One just showed up. Okay, so it's the morning, and it's not a school day, but we're going to have Major age up and move out. And happy birthday, Major. And Major is loyal. Huh, loyal and a kleptomaniac. Well, you can be friend of the world. And then we'll go have another science baby. And it's a boy. We'll call him Nathaniel. And then we age up little Harrison. Happy birthday, Harrison. You are sensitive. Okay, we're not going to age up Jana. Because Jana still has four days until she ages up. So my idea is... We will try to keep these babies as young as possible. Because when Ibrahim moves out, he is going to take over and basically run the orphanage from his new place. And he's going to be a teenager stuck with maybe five infants and two toddlers. And the reason why I do that is because as a teenager, he will not be able to have children or science babies yet. And the only way that he can make money is through parenting. So he can't be a parent as a teenager unless you have adopted siblings. So for right now, all he can do is play peekaboo with the infants and maybe entertain them a little bit. Oh, he actually solved the, the problem for the newborn. The newborn was actually low on social and he came over and entertained it and it stopped crying. We now just have two permanent nannies. It doesn't seem like they're going home. Well, that's fine with me. Well, it's the end of the week and we're just working on our charisma skill a little bit. And then we need to head to bed. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.